Once upon a time, in the heart of a lush, sun-dappled forest, there existed a tranquil pond. Its surface shimmered like a thousand silver coins, and its depths held secrets whispered by ancient reeds. In this enchanted water, two unlikely souls found themselves drawn together, Finley the fish and Fiona the frog. Finley was a curious koi, his scales glinting like moonlight on rippling waves. He loved to explore the underwater caves, tracing the forgotten paths of tadpoles and minnows. Fiona, on the other hand, was a playful frog. Her emerald eyes reflecting the verdant canopy above, she leaped from lily pad to lily pad, composing lilting tunes for the dragonflies. One sunny morning, as the lotus blossoms unfurled, Finley noticed Fiona perched on a mossy rock. Her webbed feet tapped a rhythm and her throat swelled with a melodious croak. Enchanted, Finley swam closer, his tail brushing against water lilies. Fiona's song wove through the reeds, reaching the very heart of the pond. Oh, Fiona, Finley called, his voice a gentle ripple. Your song is more enchanting than the moon's reflection. Fiona turned, her eyes widening in surprise. Finley, she exclaimed, I never knew a fish could appreciate my music. And so, beneath the rustling leaves, their friendship blossomed. Fiona taught Finley the art of serenading the moon, while Finley shared tales of sunken treasures and lost shipwrecks. They swam together through sunbeams and rain showers, their laughter echoing across the water. But love, like a water lily, blooms in unexpected places. One moonlit night, as fireflies danced, Finley confessed his feelings. Fiona, he murmured, my heart beats for you like the rhythm of the tides. Fiona's eyes widened, her throat tightening. Finley, she replied, I've always admired your quiet strength and your shimmering grace. But can a fish and a frog truly find love? Finley swirled around her, his scales catching the moon's glow. Why not? he said. We are creatures of this magical pond, bound by more than water. And so they decided to prove love's audacity. Fiona composed a ballad of moonlight and dewdrops, while Finley crafted a necklace of iridescent pebbles. They danced together under the weeping willows, their hearts entwined like water reeds. But love, like the seasons, is never without trials. One stormy day, the pond swelled, threatening to wash away their fragile haven. Fiona clung to a floating leaf, her eyes searching for Finley. Where are you, my dear fish? Finley emerged, his fins battling the currents. I'm here, Fiona, he cried. Hold on! With a leap that defied gravity, Fiona reached him. Their lips met, a kiss as soft as a raindrop. And in that moment, the pond sang a symphony of love, its ripples echoing their union. From then on, Finley and Fiona swam side by side, their love deeper than the pond's fathomless depths. They became legends, the fish who loved a frog, the frog who sang for a fish. And every night, as the moon peeked through the leaves, they serenaded each other, their hearts harmonizing like the sweetest notes of a lullaby. And so, dear reader, if you ever chance upon a silvery pond, listen closely, you might hear the echo of their love, a love that transcended scales and webbed feet, a love that shimmered like moonlight on water. For in the heart of that enchanted forest, Finley the fish and Fiona the frog found a love that danced across lily pads and whispered through reeds, a love that still echoes in the rustling leaves and the moon's tender gaze. Thank you for watching. To stay updated with our latest content, please consider subscribing. Your support 
is greatly appreciated.